We are in the midst of intensifying ascension symptoms. And I know when we hear the word symptoms, we think bad, and it can actually feel bad when you're in your limiting beliefs and your programming. But what's really happening with these ascension symptoms, and I'm going to go into some of them in this video, that you're being asked to be present with and sit with aspects of you that are coming up to be seen. And these aspects can rise up in many different ways. One is as anxiety or stress, expectations about the future, regrets about things you've done in the past. This can manifest in your physical body as lower, lower body pain, back pain, um, joint pain, even up in the diaphragm reflux. Your chakras are releasing dense energy. They are spinning faster and faster, allowing more of your higher self to flow through you. So it is up to you to sit with these symptoms, allow your energy to start to flow by clearing the density away. This density rises up if you're starting to feel anxious or something. This is an energy block in your body that is rising up to be experienced. It represents an aspect of you from the past that for whatever reason, trauma, you've chosen to not fully feel. Therefore, it was never fully healed. Well, with all of this expansive energy that we've been receiving, all of this stuff can no longer be held within the body. Just like within the earth, a lot of the darkness, a lot of the density is coming up into the collective because the frequency of the planet can no longer support it. You're on this ascension path for a reason, to raise your vibration, to elevate into higher frequency dimensional fields. And in order to do that, you need to release the chains that are tying you to lower frequency timelines. And we do that by feeling into this dense energy. We're making the unconscious conscious. This is all about an expansion of consciousness. So we want to make these unconscious emotions, the things that have been responsible for manifesting the, your life the same day over and over and over again that's aligned with your past creates an expected future. But it's a lower frequency future. It's one that does not maybe hold confidence or self-worth, self-esteem, self-love, joy, abundance, happiness, those types of emotions. They've been trying to move through you and this expansive energy is bringing all of that forward in these wacky ascension symptoms. Fatigue is coming to mind right now. I've been seeing a lot of people, a lot of people have been commenting on my posts, on my videos about fatigue. They're tired. That again is the your physical vessel releasing dense energy. This is a journey that is challenging. Your body is trying to keep up with this expansion of consciousness. It needs to release the dense energy and it needs your focus. It needs your attention. It needs your help to do that. How do we do that? You bring your awareness, your attention, your focus back into the body, focus on your breath and start to assist in your energy moving through your body. If you could breathe into the lower chakras and I've got videos in my breathwork playlist on this channel to teach you how to do that. You can actually create space. You can get in there, bring energy, consciousness into your chakras and help this dense energy release. And it's going to come up as anxiety, as stress, as fear, as false expectations, as limiting beliefs. You need to be ready to sit with this energy to allow it to heal. It just wants to be seen. These were traumatized aspects of you that have not been seen. They want to be seen. They want to be loved. And they get our attention through the emotional body. We actually feel this. It can manifest physically as physical symptoms. Like I said, there's fatigue. A lot of people have a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. There's a lot of hopelessness going on right now. There's um, a sense of, of inflammation joint pain, um, gastrointestinal issues, headaches. It's running the full gamut. That is because we are just receiving these amazing blasts of high frequency light. It's like everything is in focus right now. None of it's off the table. And that can bring up a lot of fear. It's like, what am I doing? I've been feeling recently like, um, I just don't, I just don't have enough time. Time is one thing that I've always struggled with. I always feel like there's not enough time to get things done. And the interesting thing is when I get present 
I'm able to get so much done. You have the ability within you to actually physically mold and manipulate time. But when you're focused in the anxiety and your energy or attention's flowing into the anxiety based on your limiting beliefs and stories that maybe something's going to take a lot longer than it really would, or maybe there's just not enough time to accomplish something, or maybe you're getting older and you're feeling like you're aging a little bit. All of these things are limiting beliefs. They're all coming to the surface now. That's what's been rising up for me. And it's an opportunity to become aware of how you've been anchoring yourself to a lower frequency timeline. For me, I've been having a lot of like back pain and things like that. It's since relieved because I've worked through it. I've brought consciousness into my body, into the lower chakras and got energy moving. So if you're experiencing this anxiety, I want you to realize that these are aspects of you that are rising up to be seen and to be loved. So we work in the lower chakras, the lower three, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, so that we can get energy up into the heart space and we can start to feel and experience that love that is you. That love that is you is trying to come forward. We want to connect with that love and we want to allow these aspects or fragments, energetic fragments of us, these traumatized lower frequency aspects, to experience that love. But it is your attention, your intent, intention to get into the heart space and do that and feel that and connect with love that is so, so powerful. And that's what you're being asked to do now. Remember, this light creates an expansion. The expansion creates a release. And that release creates an opportunity for you to connect back within your body to these areas where you're feeling the stuckness and bring energy there. Breath work, so powerful for that. I'm starting to see like the third eye is kicking up again. My third eye is starting to become more active and I'm starting to perceive things from higher dimensional fields. It's always been there. I've always had the ability to do that, but I've been so focused on the healing aspect that now I'm turning it back to these higher dimensional fields that were there the whole time. These third eye activations that we're experiencing right now are very, very powerful. You may be experiencing tightness, headaches. I've had some pain come up behind my eye recently. Your, again, your body's awareness. Your body is showing you where you need to focus your attention. So bring it into the third eye. Breathe into the third eye. Again, on my channel, great third eye breath work and meditation. Uh, take advantage of that. This energy is showing you exactly where you need to turn your attention to. These areas want focus. When we focus with intent, we bring energy to these spaces. So our tissue is actually slow. When we experience a trauma, the vibration slows down and energy gets stuck within your body. So when you can bring it in, that manifests as pain. When you can bring it back in, you can actually bring energy to that space and expand it and density releases, guess what? Your third eye activates. Your crown activates. Your throat activates. Any one of your energy centers can activate when you decide to turn your attention to it. I just relaunched my third eye activation course. If you're interested in taking advantage of these amazing high frequency energies that we've been receiving, now is the time. I'm gonna put a link to my third eye activation course in the description. Definitely take advantage of that now while the energies are so intense. You'll be able to activate your third eye. I'll show you amazing techniques, a breathing technique. I'm gonna show you an amazing technique to open your third eye. In fact, it's a technique you're not gonna see in any other course. So very powerful course. Definitely give that a look and take advantage of that. Now is the time to step it up, guys. This is the time to really shift your focus. Pull out of the field, bring it back into here, feel whatever you're being asked or shown by your higher self to feel. Step it more into the body, ground more into the root, ground more into Gaia. This ride is about to take off. Things are going to be happening very quickly. Light is coming. We are rising through these higher dimensional fields. The fear needs to be cleared. The anxiety needs to be cleared. Your body will show you the way. This is the time to embrace your purpose, embrace your path, 
bring it inward and trust that you are being guided by your higher self. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.